Dan. And I'm Landon. And we're here to read and discuss the Bible. Today, we are in John chapter 3. Mm -hmm. it's, a yeah. good, it's a good book. It is. Yes. And, and today, we are going to read out of the New King James. Uh, we thought that was good last time. Yeah. But we will put different versions of the Bible you can link to down below. In the description. We may put, uh, I'll put a surprise there this time. We'll put the new King James Ooh. and King James NIV and something else. Mm. You decide how you want to read it. Most of all, just read it. Yeah. Whether Whatever you decide to read it in, just read it. Yep. And you'll get something good. Anyway, we would really like it if you would subscribe. Hit the subscribe button at the top. Right there. Sure that's right. Yes. Sure it's not right. over there. Nope. Not on that side. No. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button down here. You sure that wasn't the pause button? Nope. It's it's lower than the pause button. Hit the thumbs up. And not the thumbs down. Mm -hmm. No. Don't even not show that them one. that. They only need to see the thumbs up. Click this one. You know, we're putting this on YouTube. And sometimes it gets on Facebook and you can't really hit a thumbs up or subscribe. So if you... um. If you're on Facebook and you're watching this, if you uh, scroll to the top of the border, it will then show you a link to YouTube. And then you can subscribe, because we really would like you to subscribe. Yeah. Because we would like to see you every day. <laughs> or at least you can see us every day. Well, anyway, we thought maybe the last one was a little bit long. It was 14 minutes, so we thought mm -hmm. we'd speed it up today. So, Landon, I want you to hit the speed up button. All right. Can you do that? <laughs> um, no, that was that was just a little that joke. Was, that was just a joke. We're not going to really do that to you. No, it was fast, though. It was. Anyway, we're reading in uh, John chapter 3, so let's go ahead and start. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Now Nicodemus, it says that Nicodemus was an influential and respected member of the Sanhedrin. Hmm. Now it's interesting that he came to him at night. Um, usually in people like Nicodemus would have came to you in the daytime. Right. Especially if he thought you were the Messiah. Some of the commentaries I've, I've read say that Nicodemus didn't quite know if Jesus was the Messiah. He saw all the signs and wonders, but he was a little bit iffy in whether or not this was the Messiah. So because Nicodemus was so kind of high up there, he came to Jesus at night so less people would know he was mm, coming to him. Yeah. Jesus answered him and said, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, See the kingdom of God. Mm. This threw Nicodemus for a loop. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? I told you, he didn't understand. Right. Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and of spirit, mm. he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Okay. He still didn't understand. <laughs> he didn't know what born of the Spirit was. All Nicodemus knew was the law. Right. Now, if Jesus would have said, unless you are free from sin, or unless you keep all the commandments, that's what Nicodemus was looking for. Right. But he didn't get that. It's good to do everything right. It is. Yeah. I would never say somebody who's doing all things right has a bad attitude. But without being born of the Spirit, unless your heart is right, if you're just doing right to not get fried in hell, there's a lot of laws you have to pay attention to. Yeah. And it's almost impossible. Only one person that was ever sinless. To which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. 
Do not marvel that I said this to you. You must be born again. The winds blow where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Mm. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? <laughs> He's like, Say what? What are you talking about? I don't, I don't understand. What? It, how can it? How can you do this? And Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the teacher of Israel, and do you not know these things? Mm. I think Jesus was giving him the smackdown. <laughs> yeah. He was basically Nicodemus was hot there in the teachers. Yeah. And he was saying, You, you don't well, understand you, this. You, basically, the teachers were the ones that got to read the scripture. Right. It wasn't like today where we have, everybody has a Bible and it has dust on it. Well, they had parchment that were handed down, well taken care of, written by Moses and yeah. the prophets. And they just, you couldn't go into the lending library and just borrow one. Right. So, and, and very few of them got to actually read it. Most assuredly, I say to you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? Basically, he was saying, well, I could tell you all these things you already know and you don't believe me. Right. So if I start telling you stuff about heaven. How would you believe me then? How are you going to believe me? No one has ascended to the heaven but he who came down from heaven. That is the Son of Man who is in heaven. Now, Jesus was talking about himself, mm -hmm. the Son of Man. Now, I don't know, but Nicodemus might would have, uh, he might would have been upset with this. Because mm -hmm. basically the, the way the Jewish people believed is that no one could see God. And live. And live. So he's basically telling Nicodemus that he's the Son of God. So you can see him. Yes. So the only one that's seen God the Father was Jesus, the Son. But you can see Jesus because he was right there in front of you. Mm -hmm. So he's telling him that basically if you've seen me, you've seen God. That might have drawn Nicodemus too much. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Now there, I told you before that Jesus would a lot of times say a reference of him dying on the cross. Mm -hmm. uh, a prophecy. Right. Telling him what's to come. About remember the last chapter, he said you can destroy this temple, and in three days I'll raise it up. And they were upset with that. It wasn't about the temple that they were it in. It was about him. It was about him. Which was true. It ended up being true, and they didn't understand that. And I'm certain he didn't understand this, because just like in the Old Testament, he would have known about Moses, and would have known that when he held the serpent up on the rod, then healing occurred. Mm -hmm. The people who were sick and dying were made well when they saw the serpent Lift on the stick, stick. lifted the stick up. And so that was to to okay. show that when Jesus was going to be lifted up, we would in turn be healed. be healed and get our salvation. Yeah, like spiritually healed. Well, and also physically healed. Yeah, through his stripes on his back. Yeah, through his pain and suffering. Basically, he took the punishment for sin on himself on himself so we didn't have to have the sin on us mm -hmm. if we obey him then we're justified in front of God and therefore all the punishment that came with the sin such as disease and sickness and toil well he took the punishment for the sin so we don't so we have, don't to, have, have to so therefore we can be healed for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, mm -hmm. that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Well, that's mm -hmm. probably the most quoted verse in the whole Bible. Yeah. I know it's one of my favorite ones. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And now this is Jesus talking yeah. to Nicodemus. He who believes in him is not condemned, speaking of himself, Jesus. But he who does not believe is condemned already. Wow. 
because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. That means that we're born into sin. Right. And if you don't believe, you're already condemned. And this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and the men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light and his deeds may be clearly seen that they may be done in God. Now, this is very true from the big to the small. I know that if I've done, if I'm in the middle of doing something that's not quite right, I don't want anybody to know about it. Right. But if I'm in the middle of doing something good, oh, I want the whole world to know. Yeah. I, I heard one commentary that says the more towards the light you go, the more you want to be in the light. And the more mm -hmm. closer to God you are, it's easier to be close to God. But the farther away you go from God, the faster you want to run. So to solve that problem, if you are away from God, all you have to do is turn towards Him. And just like the law of motion, once you put that law into motion, when you get closer to God, you'll be better to go closer to Him every step. Yeah. After these things, Jesus and His disciples came into the land of Judea, and there he remained, and with them, and baptized. Now John also baptized in Anon, near Salim, because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized, and John had not yet been thrown into prison. Then there arose a dispute between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purification. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you beyond the Jordan, Jesus, Jesus, to whom you testified, behold, he is baptizing, and all are coming to him. So basically, they're trying to rile John up. Yeah, they're trying to... They're saying, hey, everybody's going to Jesus, the one that you, uh, you said you liked. The yeah. one you said, uh, here's the one that uh, takes away the sins of the world. They're not coming to you anymore. Your Baptist ministry is over because they're all going to Jesus. What you think about that, John? And they put the microphone up in his face to try they're to get him. To, they're trying to make John mad at Jesus. I think. Yeah. yeah. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. Mm. Well, John was pretty smart. Yeah. He could see right, just like Jesus he could see right through all their tricks. Because yeah. every time they came to talk to Jesus, they tried to trick him. Hey, this and that and this and that. And Jesus went, poke you in the eye, <laughs> so to say. <laughs> I mean, Jesus knew what the truth was, and they were trying to trick him. Jesus would say, um, your sins be forgiven. And they'd think in their head, who is this? And he'd say, oh, because you think that I said your sins be forgiven... Which is easier, for me to say your sins are forgiven or ra rise up and walk? And he said, so you know that the Son of Man has power to forgive sins. He yeah. told the man to rise up and walk. Yeah. And they all went, what did we do? <laughs> you yourself bear me witness that I said I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him, speaking of Jesus, he who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, who stands and hears him, rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this joy of mine is fulfilled. So John was saying, why are you trying to get me so upset? I told you that I'm not the Christ. Right. Why are you trying to come after me and say, well, that one over there looks like the Christ. What do you think about that, John? Yeah. But then he was saying... You know what? Jesus is the bridegroom. Yeah. I'm just the best man. I'm the friend of the bridegroom. And so, why am I going to be upset that my friend is getting married? Right. I'm going to stand and be happy. Be with happy. Him. Yeah. So, John was not upset that Jesus was looking like he was the Messiah. Right. When, it, when in fact, that's what John said. Right. So, he's like, why are you coming to me with these <laughs> questions? Yeah. 
he must increase, Jesus, but I must. And the word must in my Bible is italicized. That so means, he really meant he must decrease. That means if John tried to stand up and say, hey, look at me, there would be something wrong with John. Yeah. He said that Jesus must increase, but I, John, must decrease because he knew that Jesus was the Messiah. Yeah. He who comes from above is above all, and he who is of earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. So he's saying right there, he, Jesus, who comes from above heaven, heaven. with God the Father, is above all. He's above me. Right. He's above you. But he who comes from earth, John, John, everybody else, speaks of the earth. So he who comes from heaven is above it all. End of story. Yeah. And what he has seen and heard that he testifies, and no one receives his testimony. So he's basically saying, he's trying to tell you, but you don't believe him. He who has received his testimony has certified that God is true. For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God does not give the Spirit by measure. The Father loves the Son, speaking of Jesus, and has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe in the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Wow. So, That's... they came to John trying to rile him up, and John said... He just told them all. He just told them, you, you, you trying to come to me to try to get me to look like I'm something I'm not... And I've already told you that he's the Lamb of God. Yeah. And what he's trying to tell you, you people coming to me, is that he's the Lamb of God and he is the Messiah. And that he speaks from heaven. He was in heaven. And what he speaks is the truth. So, that was a good book. Yeah. It was. Good chapter. Good chapter. Yeah, good chapter. Well, anyway, we thank you for joining with us today of read and discuss the Bible. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Right there. Oh, you're too far over. Oh, well, right there. Right there. Somewhere up there. Right that way. Yes, right there. That and, direction. And hit the like button. Right there. And uh, thumbs up. Yes, that's the same button. And, yeah. And make up. a comment. We really <laughs> would like to hear from you mm -hmm. if you have a question. Um, below we'll have some information about our church and some videos that you can watch if you want to. Um, we really appreciate your feedback. So, until next time, see ya. God bless.